Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I merged my documents. And I feel that this was actually the reason why my study permit was approved. Because I merged the documents and named them accordingly. I didn't just upload my documents and then wait for the visa officer to figure out which document is which. So when I was merging, I made sure I introduced every document I was um, submitting to the visa officer. In that way, the visa officer knows which document is actually looking at. So I use the I love PDF. So you type on Google, I love PDF. And this is the page of the um, I love PDF. And all my documents I submitted, they were actually in PDF format. Although I had some pictures and those pictures I had to convert them to PDF before I uploaded them on the application. So for this video, I'll be using some um, images, some pictures, uh, documents, and then I will convert them to PDF so that you can know how to do this. So for the video, I'll be using this JPEG picture. So I'm converting from picture to PDF, and this is where I will come to. If you are converting from Word to PDF, you come to this page. But now I'm converting from JPEG to PDF. So click on it and to bring you here, say select image. So the image is saved on my desktop. So this is what I am. Um, Converting. So after selecting it, I would say convert to PDF. The image have been converted to PDF. So now it will download. But if you can't wait for it, you can just click download and it will download. So it's downloaded and now I would open it. And this is the PDF format. It's now in PDF and now I'll okay. So let me share that. So this is the PDF format. It is now in PDF form. And now I would save this. Save on my desktop. And it is saved. So the next thing now, we want to start merging our document. But before we merge the document, there is something that we need to do and which is um, using the word because we have to explain every document we are uploading on the application, we have to explain it so that when the visa officer is looking at it, he knows what he's looking at. So what we'll do is, I am going to use the Microsoft Word. And let's say the first document I want to, uh, I want to merge is my letter of um, sponsorship. So let's say my letter of intent. And you know, you have to make, let's say the letter of intent is going to the client information. You know, you're giving some, you're giving four MB if you're using the GCK for client information for all documents. So for the client information, you have to put other documents that you've not uploaded. That's where you put your other documents. 
other documents like maybe birth certificates, pictures of your family, um, employment letter, um, some other things, just more document that you have that you haven't uploaded. So we'll come here. Let's say the first thing I want to upload now is my um letter of intent. So I would come here and say, for well, my statement of purpose, they are the same. So I'll come here and say, I'm using capital letters in my statement. Of this. And then align. Then I would increase the font size to that's eight. And then I make it bold. So my statement of purpose, then I'll try to bring it down a bit. So after doing this, the next thing I will do my statement of purpose is to say that To save it, my segment of purpose word, and then I want to save it on desktop so I can find it easily. So save on desktop, and then it is saved. So now that we've done this, the next thing to do is to now go to our I love PDF, and then we will now convert the Word document to PDF. So look for Word to PDF. So this is a Word to PDF. And then I click on it. Then it says select Word file. Then so this is the file. I will click on it and open. So then I will say convert to PDF. And download PDF. So it's downloaded. I would open this document. And then it's now in PDF form. And I will save it. So my statement of purpose word PDF. And I'm saving on my desktop. And save. So now we've done all that, we can now merge our documents. So I go to I love PDF and come to all PDF tools and say merge PDF. So select files into my desktop. And I would look, the first thing I'm looking for is the word that we converted to PDF, because that's the introduction. My Of purpose working. So that's it. And then open. So the first uh the first PDF is here, and then we will now add the statement of purpose. So the statement of intent does it and then open. That's not document. Add. Okay. 
So my statements of intent, PDF, then open. That's not it. Well, let me just look for any documents and put them. So that's it, and then I say merge PDF. And download. So when you open the PDF that has been merged, this is what you will see. So this is how the visa officer will see it. My statement of purpose, and then the next thing is going to see is your statement of purpose. And this is it. This is your statement of purpose. This is what it will see. That is how you will merge your documents. So when the visa officer is looking at the documents, the first thing he will see is my statement of purpose. And then he would go ahead and see this. But in a situation where you, you don't put that, you just go ahead and put um put your statement of purpose and then you expect the visa officer to be looking for which one is statement of purpose and which one is um sponsorship letter. So now, now that we're done, I would save this. Save this. Live on desktop, and we will say SOP PDF mesh and save on desktop, and then it's saved. <laughs> So that is it. Now let me do one more so that this video will not be too long. I'll do another one. Now I want to upload maybe family picture or a picture with me and a family. So I would go to JPEG to PDF. Select the JPEG as the photo. Let me see which pictures. So let's say I'm using this picture of me and my grandmother. Then the first thing I will do is to convert the picture to PDF. Good. Once it's downloaded, now it's downloaded and this picture of me and my grandma is now in PDF. I would go ahead and save this picture. my desktop and I will say ST. ST is, is my best friend. And I will save it on desktop and save. 
So now that we're done, we will now go to Word. Go to Word document and come here and say, so let's say I want to tell the visa officer that I have a tie back at home. And I'm telling the visa officer that I have my grandmother in Nigeria that I am caring for. So I would say a photo of my grandma and I. A photo, or you can put a picture of my grandma. Let me see a picture of my grandma and I. So I will try and bring it to the middle, a picture of my grandma and I. Then I would save this on desktop. And see what And I'm saving it on my desktop. One top. Save. So now we will now go to our I love PDF and merge the first one, the first document that we have merged. We will come here. I hope I'm not forgotten what the name I gave this document to. So we'll call me a merge, select PDF. And the first one we merge was PDF merged. PDF. SOP PDF merged. That was it. That's the first one that we merge together. Then we will now add the word documents, the word, the one that we wrote my grandma and I. Have I even converted the word? Okay, sorry. We would have to convert the word first before we merge. I have not converted it. So word to PDF. I would have to convert the Word documents first before we merge. So, Word doc. So we'll convert it to PDF. So it's converted to PDF, my, a picture of my grandma and I. Then I will save this. Word doc PDF, and then it's saved. So now we will now go to. I love PDF and we cannot match. So we say match PDF, select. So we are merging the first one of the SOP, statement of purpose. We will match that document, SOP merged. So we will match this one, open. And then the new one we are going to match now, which is, First is the 
Word document that is now in PDF. So, Word doc PDF. Open. And then we will now add, because we're saying a picture, a picture of my grandma and I. Now we're now adding the picture. So I said besties. Besties. Add it. So after doing that, we will now say merge. So we'll merge the first one that we did. You see how it comes out. Download. So it's completed and I want to open it. So this is how the officer will see it. My statement of purpose. And then what he sees is your statement of purpose. And then the next thing he sees is a picture of my grandma and I. Then when he goes down, he would see the picture of my grandmother and I. So that's how it goes. That is how it goes. Then if you want to measure that document, you go to Word, type the documents you want to match. Maybe the next document you are putting is... um my bank statement or let's say my, my bank statement. You go to Word, type my bank statement or my six months bank statement. Convert it from Word to PDF. Then come here, merge it. Add it to this particular document you've merged already. You just keep adding, keep adding and keep adding. That is just it. So when the visa officer is looking at my document, he knows that because you cannot just go and upload. If you upload it like this now, you are expecting the visa officer to tell you that, to be like thinking for you that, okay, who is this person that you are taking picture with? He does not know who this person is. Is it your mother? Is it your, you get? So, but when you put it this way, that the picture of my grandma and I, he knows that the person that you are taking this picture with is your grandma. And he knows that the, the next um, file that he's going to be looking at is a picture of your grandmother and you. So that is it. So I'm going to save this file. So you keep saving them. As you merge this one now, you save and give it another name. So now, I, I'm giving it another name, SOP, PDF, merged, merged. And then I would save it. So now I want to go to compress. I want to compress these documents. So come here and say compress PDF. Select PDF file. And the file we are looking at is the SOP, the one I've, I've done. So SOP, meshed, meshed, open, and this is it. And now I'm going to compress. It says extreme compress. If you extremely compress this document, the visa officer will not be able to see it. Is that, and this is the one they recommend. And this one is less compression. But this one, when you use this, this one has good quality and good compression. This one has high quality and less compression. So now, anyone you are picking here, what I did was, after I compress, let's say I'm using this one, but because this document is not big enough, it will go to compress it. After I compressed, my documents. 
because the document you're supposed to compress to 4 MB. After I compressed my document, what I did was, now this document is compressed. So this is a compressed format. It's still looking sharp. Still looking sharp. This is the statement of purpose. This is statement of purpose. And then the next thing, the police officer is in the picture of my grandmother and I, and that is the picture. So now, what I did was, after I compressed this document, I saved it. So save SOP, merge, merge, compress, then I would save. Let me save it on desktop. So that's it. Now, what I'm saying is, after you have compressed your documents, send it to your phone and send it to either your family members or your friends that you trust. Send it to them. Let them view the documents. Because after you compress it, don't just go ahead and upload it. Send to your friends. Let them view it. Let them view it as a visa officer, that if they were to be a visa officer and someone submits such documents to them, they will be able to read it appropriately. Because when you compress your documents and the visa officer can't read it, when they are stressed and straining their eyes and trying to read it, they can't, they will just automatically refuse you. So send it to your friends, let them check it. Can they read it properly? Are the documents visible? Are they legible? Is it something that one can read? When you get response from your friend, if they tell you, oh, the document is clear, and you say, if you can see that it's clear, then you can go ahead and upload it. Don't go and upload documents that you've compressed that nobody can even see it again. Don't do it. So that is my advice for you. And that was what I did because after I compressed my documents, I sent the document to my phone. I sent it to my mom. I sent it to my brother. And I told them to view the documents. After they viewed it and they, they were able to like view the documents, I then went ahead and uploaded it on my application. And that was how I submitted. So I hope this video helps someone that is trying to put in their application and i wish you guys the best bye now